Have you been unemployed for more than six months? This is a very, very serious scenario that I know a lot of executives are actually facing. They might have been made redundant, let's say, for example, just in the lead up to the end of the uh, Christmas uh, New Year break, and they're still out trying to find meaningful executive employment. When you're in this scenario, you're in the danger zone. I hate to say this, but six months out is a very significant amount of time to have been trying to find employment the first thing you must do is fully assess what is working and what is not working if you are not getting in the door for interview you must consider that the resume is potentially not working because it's not getting you in the door you also need to consider are you applying for the right types of roles are you competitive? Are you in the top 20% of candidates for that position? You may find that you're applying for the wrong things, too competitive, and you're, you're getting yourself into a scenario where you just are not making the cut. The resume might not be wrong. And on top of that, you may not be making just enough effort. Recruitment is a numbers game. You might not be making enough approaches. You must be approaching at least one or two people per day to make sure that each week you have a couple of job interviews coming up and you need to build momentum on that to really sort of get going. So my first piece of advice is assess, review, critique, get someone else to look at it and I don't care if you have had to change your resume 10 times already um, and you've just gone and you know bought a fancy recruitment service and uh, you know someone's redone your resume and you think it looks great if it is not getting you in the door for interviews, it is not working. So we have to be very, very cautious when we're six months into a job search and we're just not getting in the door for meaningful conversations. The second thing you have to really look at is you must be tapping into the unadvertised job market. If 80% of your effort is going towards, or 100% going towards the advertised job market, your um, potential for success is very, very low. The strike rate is very, very low. We know that these uh, advertised roles, highly competitive. There's 100 candidates that send their resume within 30 seconds of the job appearing on the job boards. You're in a very competitive pool. And because you are currently unemployed, you are not competitive. You have to tap into the unadvertised job market, which means you need to tap into the networks, you need to tap into the companies that are advertising privately for roles, you need to tap into executive search firms. We must get you into that more mainstream job uh, placement, uh, which exists in the market. You know, the, the reality is that what you see advertised is a very small percentage of what is actually truly available in the market. You also need to be practical. You might need to consider doing contract work. You might need to consider doing interim uh, contracts where you go into a business for a period of time, six or 12 months to fulfill a contract. You might also need to just get yourself busy and maybe do some volunteering, uh, go and do some study. There might be some activity you need to be doing. Just sitting at home, applying for jobs is probably not the best use of your time. You've really got to watch your mental stamina at this point when you get to the six month mark. Um, and we have to make sure that from six to nine months, that's the window where you get back engaged into the market. If it doesn't happen, the risk is you become long-term unemployed and we don't want that to happen. So you've got to double down your efforts. You've got to try again. You've got to start from, from scratch. Sometimes you've got to redo resumes. Sometimes you've got to go and speak to a different career coach, a different counsellor. You have to talk to different people in your network. You have to be realistic about what is or isn't working. Uh, you have to you know, still approach it with a sense of urgency because if you give up, you know, you are, you are re really risking missing the window to get back into the market. Uh, you might need to recalibrate what the role looks like, what the industry looks like, uh, the configuration, and more importantly, you might actually need to seriously compromise on salary expectations, which often happens. I've got a number of clients at the moment and they were used to earning 
three hundred thousand plus and they're still in you know out of the market six seven months later they're waiting for that three hundred thousand dollar roll they are few and far between and so you really might have to compromise quite significantly uh, to come back into the market to recalibrate regroup and, and get yourself back into the market I'm offering complimentary career assessments if you're in that situation where you've uh, been trying a lot of things and nothing's working come and talk to me let me assess what's working what's not working and I'll give you a pathway I have a proven methodology to get people employed within 100 days uh, book into my diary I'd love to have a chat with you